Alrighty, everybody, and welcome back to another episode here. Things seem to have gone pretty well the last episode, or at least from what I've seen. So we're going back to this stage here, and hopefully we can complete this now. Kind of disadvantage, and I already missed a little Yoshi coin, which is unfortunate. And is there anything, like, up there? Kind of thought there would be something there, but I guess not. And I knew that was going to happen. Damn, what a good way to start the episode. But yeah, um, so the last episode, well, the first in a really long time, actually worked out. You know, despite the fact that this is a completely new setup that I'm working with here. And just kind of getting back to the swing of things. Which is, uh, good times. Good times all around. And, oh yeah, that's right. Really? Okay. And apparently I'm very rusty still. Or at least today, at least. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, I guess just to delve into other things, which are a little bit more, well, I guess better, upbeat in topics, is, uh, I guess, you know, I was talking, getting into about, like, the whole uh, Switch, and I managed to pick up that... That's... that's devious. But, yeah, I managed to get the Switch during, you know, pretty close to, uh, the launch date and everything. I'm just gonna keep talking instead of, uh, actually trying to play here, because that's not going very well for me. But, um, I managed to get those system near launch, and surprisingly, you know, never really intended on getting... Can I just start this episode over? This is embarrassing. Okay, so let's see, uh, getting back into the mode where I can talk and play at the same time. So, you know, I had never really intended on getting the... Never really crossed my mind to get the Switch. But, um, you know, just kind of came up and found the opportunity to do so. Only required waiting outside a, um, outside Target for, uh, two hours before they opened, and that was really all there was to it, which was kind of lackluster when I think about it. Because I remember when I got... Oh, thank God. When I, went, when I got the Wii U, I had to wait outside for, like, God knows how long just to pick up the system. So it was like, the fact that I only had to... Oh, okay, there we go. That's a little dangerous. But the fact that... Okay, th thank you. In fact, I only had to wait two hours before opening to get the Switch. It was, it was interesting. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. But uh, sure enough, and, um, you know, because of it, able to actually get... Oh, Jesus Christ, are you serious? Wow. Game... Uh, epic fail, yes. Uh, in the greatest degree ever. Or possible. That was horrible. I should just start this whole episode over. That was awful. Alright, this is, uh, different. This is going to be different this time. So, I mean, yeah, only two hours, able to get the system. It was very odd, too, because, uh, there was, like, one guy who... One guy who ended up not even waiting for the Switch, but he just came early so he could pick up, like, you know, some everyday items, I guess, which was a little, um, funny, since everybody else was just so nervous right now. Oh, because of that, stupid little Koopa just goes a little bit over the edge and then you're dead. And I don't think I'm ever going to beat this stage because I'm doing so horribly today. Well, yeah, I was, uh, saying that there was one person who actually showed up to the line, but they were not waiting for the Wii, I mean the Switch. He was just there for uh, everyday items, and well, it's safe to say I'm sure he got it, but it's a little odd, to say the least. But, nonetheless, it worked out. I was able to get the system, and able to play, uh, let's see, what the hell is the name of that game? Breath of the Wild? Haven't beaten the game yet, so uh, can't really say much about it. And of course, I got hit. Of course, I got hit. 
And I get a mushroom for my efforts. Thank God. And where does this lead to? Oh, gotcha. Just a coin. Played a little bit of Breath of the Wild, and I have not beaten it yet. It's been pretty fun so far of what I've tried of it. So I got, uh, got like very, uh... Are you serious? Really? Holy sh I'm just getting freaking stomped on here. Make this count, man. Oh, thank God. All I need is a break. That is all I really need right now. I mean, I, sure, I took a five-month break already. Although I don't really call it a break, because I think breaks would have been more pleasant, I guess? Oh, no indicate that you were on vacation or something? That was definitely not the case. Just doing a shitload of, uh... This is going to kill me somehow, isn't it? No, it's not, but... Really nervous that it will kill me ultimately. Suck on this sucker. Uh, yeah, I'm a little afraid of you actually like jumping and stuff. Oh, Jesus. I'm like really nervous because I'm afraid I'm gonna get killed by something stupid here. Because we've already seen that I'm able to get killed pretty easily. It's like shit, man. Alright, get rid of those guys. Those guys scared the hell out of me, and yeah, there we go, that's how it's done. Son, only took how many tries? Oh shit, I suck. Yeah, Breath of the Wild, I tried that. Played it a little bit. Haven't really gotten far into it, though. Unfortunately. I think I'm just pretty much getting- oh! Nemo Dreamland. Hell yeah, I gotta get into this game. Love this music so much. I guess I can kind of transition to a little story that, um, I don't know, I guess during a time away, I was thinking about this game a lot too, where Nemo's uh, Dreamland or Dream Master. And, um, yeah, apparently it was like, had its beginnings like long time ago. Long time ago, like early 1900s. And it began as a comic strip. And then a animated movie, or a silent movie. Which, uh, was interesting. I mean, saw some of the comic strips and everything. And, you know, it's definitely a different culture back then. I mean, just the way people spoke and everything. Which I thought was, uh, interesting, I guess, from a historical point of view. But, it was interesting, though. I mean... Just seeing, like, where its beginnings were and all that junk, because, you know, for the longest time, I I thought it was just really, um, if anything, I was more surprised at the fact with, um, that it was a movie. I think it starred Fred Savage, too. As Nemo, I, I'm thinking, but, yeah, that's, like, that's where I thought, um, the game come from, where the game just was an original idea, but... Uh, sure enough, it was a silent animated, f well, film, I guess, back in the 1900s, early 1900s, I should say. Just feels really, I don't know, ancient, thinking that back, but that far back. Early 1900s, nothing really crazy to think about for that, I would say. But yeah, read some of the comic strips, and... You know, they were what they were. I mean, kind of came up with some uh, key techniques, I guess, when it comes to animation during that time. And no more Nemo uh, Dream Master music, so it kind of destroys the whole, you know, talking about it bit. And of course I would get hit by that. Are you serious? You want to get killed? There we go. Yeah, you're a champ. Alright, so no more uh, Nemo... Dreamland music. That was kind of a buzzkill. Oh, Jesus. Alright, they have. They come in pairs, apparently. Oh, the freaking bats. Oh, boy. It, oh, jeez. Okay, uh, that's right. I have to. I think this, uh, that was an issue with uh, 
the other computer too is that I had to kind of get rid of the backgrounds or I mean the screensaver and dead go oh, Jesus say shoot fire but yeah um, I don't know if you're interested in uh, Nemo dreamland stuff and uh, want to see where its beginnings were at then uh, yeah, Googling that little comic strip is a good place to start. I just thought some of the characters were, like, strange and everything. I, th so I think the strip started, like, uh, 1903 or 5 or something. And the whole objective was the guy to, uh, get to Dream Dreamland. And he didn't do so until, like, I don't know, maybe a year into the comics starting, and thanks a lot, Bat, you bat bastard. Well, I saw that coming. Took like a year or so for Nemo to actually reach Dreamland. So I guess the king of Dreamland was looking to, I guess, kidnap him, be a plaything for his daughter. Not in a sick way, of course, you know. Plaything, just be friends, you know, all that's jazz and stuff. Stop shooting your footballs at me, damn it. And I should be careful, that has a tendency to kill me. More often than not, jumping against, uh, jumping on chucks has really bad, um, consequences for me. Most of the time. But yeah, uh, I don't know, looked at, Nemo was looking to be captured by, uh, the king of Dreamland, and, um, I, didn't, I don't think he was able to uh, get to that place until like a long time and even then I think like Dreamland ultimately got like decimated or wiped clean from uh, history or some junk like that. I don't know, very anticlimactic stuff, but uh, who cares. I think that's enough talking about that. Let's get back to the Switch, because I think this is going to be uh, the last stage we're going to do for today. And uh, with the Switch, uh, Breath of the Wild's good, definitely, gotta play more of it. And aside from that, um, oh damn, we finished this stage. Can't get any more into the Switch, I guess. Although Mario Kart is really good. I think they just need a couple more cups to keep things interesting, but aside from that, thank you for watching everybody, I'll see you next time.